Ranby Factor time for this evening. It's a four. It's unpleasant. It's windy. It's chilly. We've seen some sprinkles. Those are mostly out of here, at least the Omaha Metro. But until seven, we've got a wind advisory for the gusts between 40 and 50 miles an hour. And then again tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., another wind advisory. Today, 5343, high temperature, low temperature, and at least so far, officially no precipitation at Omaha's Epley Airfield, but there were the sprinkles and light showers that maybe dampened the roadway briefly. Here's a live look at the zoo, the Henry Dorley Zoo camera, cloud cover. If you look close enough, you can see it just kind of gradually moving off to the southeast. Strong northwest winds, and at least before the top of the hour, sprinkles reported at Epley Airfield. 44 northwest winds 20. The thing is, the air is pretty dry, the dew point 29. 55% humidity. If you're going to get substantial precipitation, you want to see that humidity up around 80%, 90%. So just a couple of sprinkles, really, but quite chilly because of the cloud cover and the light rain that's moved through. 41 Harlan, 41 Atlantic, 49 in Norfolk. There's the northwest wind, 20 in Omaha, 23 in Fremont, 29 in Norfolk, gusting to 44 there. Not currently reporting a gust at Epley Airfield, but gusting to 35 Atlantic. 26 in Fremont and 38 in Tacoma. Here's live Super Doppler simulator. Dried out in the metro. The light rain has moved south of Glenwood, starting to move out of Malvern, out of Pottawatomie County, and there's not a lot to the northwest here this evening. So mainly dry going forward this evening in the Omaha area, but there is still this cold air wrapping around this big storm system in Minnesota and Wisconsin on the back edge. Some more of those rain and snow showers will come back down here. Another busy severe weather day with a lot of severe weather watches out for parts of Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina here this evening. Well, low pressure at the surface is going to be over Wisconsin by 11 o'clock tonight, and we will still have that very strong northwest wind. You can see the clouds will clear briefly tonight and then spread back in tomorrow. And there you go, some rain and snow showers and maybe even a little bit of slushy wet snow accumulation to watch for tomorrow evening. 36 to low tonight, windy, colder. Skies will become partly cloudy. Windy and cold to start and at noontime, and then a few rain and snow showers at five o'clock and maybe tomorrow evening after the sun goes down, some snow showers around here. Still windy on Friday, so impacting outdoor activities. 25 on Saturday morning, that is cold, but it does look a lot nicer in the afternoon with sunshine and 60 degrees and a little bit of a south breeze. 70 on Sunday, 67 on Monday. Some storm chances as we head toward mid next week. Okay, Bill, thanks. Sure. Still ahead tonight, spreading awareness about autism.